Good evening and welcome back friends to this class on CV writing. Today we have for you uh, two lectures. The first one is lecture 22 on uh, CV writing. We will have a lab session in which uh, I will show you some uh, sample CV and we will be correcting it as per the lectures I have delivered on the same topic and uh, try to improve it for better presentation and better effect. In lecture number 23, we will do, be doing three activities. One of them is a case study on CV writing. So, uh, let us begin the first class that is lecture number 22 with uh, a brief introduction to all the students who are present with us. I have the pleasure, I have the happiness to present to you the students of the MHRM first year, MHRM that is Master of Human Resource Management, the flagship program of the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences, IIT Kharagpur. This is a PG course. Hello friends. So, I would like to present to you first of all uh, Ms. Purva Chaudhary and then uh, Ms. Varsha Vijay, and Ms. Tanvi Ajit. We have with us uh, today Somjita Pandey, the TA to the course. Hi. Then we have Anupam Das, the class representative for MHRM first year. Hi. And Rajashri Tibedi. Hi. Kostav Sengupta. Hello. Paulami Shah. Hi. Pooja Katwani. Hello. Ritika Dasgupta. Hi. Alalika Roy. Hello. Aritra Lahiri. Tirtho Nandi and uh, then we have Akshay Thorat and Ankur Agarwal and Muhammad Hashim Ali. So, having introduced you to the students who will be participating in this uh, lab classes, we have already met some of them in the lab classes related to verbal communication and communication as such. Then we had lab classes on body language, intercultural communication, non-verbal communication as well as listening skills. So, let us move on and uh, first of all with uh, as I was telling you with uh, much difficulty I have been able to get the CV of uh, two BTEC students of IIT Kharagpur and uh, we will be seeing what is the problem with this CV. As per the standard format of the training and placement cell and nowadays it is called the career development center at IIT Kharagpur, we have uh, the student that is uh, Mr. Arif Raja bearing roll number 16 IE 10005, a student of instrumentation engineering BTEC 4 year course with a minor in computer science and engineering. So, this uh, student has uh, provided his CV and let us take a look at it where he has scope for improvement. I will not say that he has done or written anything wrong, but how would he be more communicative and attractive and would be able to better present his CV to the recruiting recruiters or the recruiting agency or his probable employers. So, first of all, if we come to this part on his education, that is uh, more or less all right, there is nothing to be said there. Can you see the CV? Okay. Would you like the hard copies? No. Okay. Yeah, there are some hard copies and if you wish you can take it. Okay. So, and you can be with uh, me in a parallel move, you can be correcting it. The first issue which I noticed is uh, the misuse of space, I mean lack of space. There should be space before each bracket and then we come to this portion which I have highlighted already. Now, this is a NPTEL course and it is not a regular course like the line 1 and line 2 and this is also an NPTEL course, the second one here image processing ongoing which uh, cannot be coupled together if you are doing regular courses that is part of your academic requirement to fulfill so that you can get the BTEC 4 year degree. But if you are doing some uh, special courses by NPTEL, you are doing it so that you can expand upon your academic repertoire and therefore, you have to make a special note here somewhere that these are extra courses, these are not part of the 
academic requirement for the uh, minor in computer science and engineering and uh, major in instrumentation engineering BTEC 4 year program. Then we come to skills and expertise and that seems to be all right except for again the space here because the idea of a colon as a punctuation mark is that the colon precedes that which is more important to follow. So, there should be one space here and one space here. Moving further, if we come to this segment on the left hand side margin, the student has indicated the period about which he is writing in detail on the left hand side with uh, subheading in bold and uh, more details bottom not bold. So, uh, this is wrong you must write February in full and March in full in complete. So, the same thing is to be said here apart from the usual mistake of not having spaces here before and after the dash or the hyphen. We move further and he says now we are doing a language correction because he says without a space here successfully completed the course design and analysis of algorithm. Now, this is if this is a specific course on which he is emphasizing then he can highlight it by either bolding it or by underlining it. He should not put inverted comma because it is not a dialogue. The same thing we should he, which he should have done here. Moving further this is a wrong word provided offered and Patel is a program offered by the MHRD government of India for which the nodal coordinating agency is the IIT Madras. So, anyway he should write here offered offered by NPTEL with elite grade elite grade what is the grading of the course elite or is the course consisting of programs run by professors of the IIT and IIC and the top colleges and institutes of the country who are of elite grade. So, in complete sentence it does not mean that here he has to put a full stop it just means that the sentence is not even a phrase which should make sense. Uh, moving further if we come to this part renowned faculties now that is a noun and therefore, it has to be capital F renowned faculties and guests in the workshop. Again now if he wants to highlight this course which is run by the department of humanities and social sciences then he should underline it or in any way highlight it. And if you see this is a very vague way of saying attended the workshop now the department or any department in any system in any institute would be organizing so many workshops. So, the title of the workshop should have been provided here and the title would also be succeeded by the dates by the dates of the workshop because this will give credence credibility to his point and this is uh, in fact as he has written it it is very vague and totally out of sync with the kind of discipline the kind of regularity the kind of at a glance reception which the probable employer should be able to gauge or assess his CV from. Now, we come to awards and achievements and the student again writes again there is lack of space and this is ok. Uh, there is too much use of the article the it is not required the idea of uh, effective or an effective CV is that you use the minimum possible words that is why we do not use sentences you see hardly there are full stops here we use phrases, but the phrases should be meaningful and complete in themselves. So, he writes cleared the stage 1 of and so on and so forth. So, this the also is to be deleted then we come to positions of responsibility and again you see that uh, why I feel the students have uh, not been able to successfully write CV or why they cut a very sorry picture when it comes to this kind of thing is now apart from the fact that uh, this is great brains you know this is great brains nothing to be said about this, but the point is when it comes to basic writing skills, skills of presenting your CV to a probable prospective employer or the recruiting agency the minimum syntactic 
rules for writing are not taken care of. So, he writes core team member of the KGP and game theory society and uh, apart from this uh, space which should be there. In fact, he should be able to write something more here because to the others if they google on this which is KGP and game theory society they will hardly get an idea of what is to happen. Of course, the other point which the student would raise with me is that he has to stick to a format size restricted to one page only. Uh, moving further, now you have this noun and it has to be a capital U undergraduate students. In other cases you might also put G also as capital undergraduate students. So, we move further and uh, successfully organize the student rights successfully organize battle of brains in Shitij, not in at Shitij. The use of the correct proposition Asia's largest techno management fest and if this is a fact because many times this is straight from the CDC the students have been writing a lot of things they do not have paper document to support it. So, if you have a paper document to support certainly if you have got a prize in Shitij the year should be mentioned let us say Shitij 2016 or Shitij 2018. Why be so vague if you are sure if you are confident and if you have actually yes let us say truthfully speaking I am speaking up front if you have truthfully speaking got this prize battle of brains at Shitij then mention the year because Shitij is now running I do not know into how many editions. So, let us come to the next one attended academic classes and understood concepts like backwater backward induction and Nash equilibrium. So, I would tell you Mr. Ashif Raja that you are not doing a great you know obligation you are not doing a great favor to IIT Kharagpur by attending classes you are paid for it and you are bound to attend classes. So, there is no need of writing this at all if you have attended academic classes you have just done your duty because you are a student and it is your main prime it is your sole primary responsibility to attend classes. This is not something to be written in the CV if you are a plumber and you are doing a plumbing job will you write I did plumbing job tell me will you be writing like this. Okay. Then we move further and let us show you his projects. So, if you can see the candidate writes in detail now about KGP and game theory society in which he has done some projects. So, first of all this is in full August 17 because whenever we write dates and months they should be complete otherwise it looks as if it is informal or very casual. So, August and preferably the entire year 2017 up to present or instead of present you can write ongoing or till date you can use these words as such I am also telling you. So, um, the candidate writes in detail about this and then we come to the projects and he writes made a line follower robo. Now, being a teacher of humanities and social science with a basic background in English literature I have the faintest idea of this I would not say I have a vague idea I have no idea what he means by this, but you maybe you could tell what is this uh, line follower robo. Do you have any idea? By the using of sensors. Sensors, yes. Okay. There is this competition actually. You put a laser and then that robot follows that laser light. No, okay. No, actually, there is IC yeah, which is used in that particular uh, <coughs> machine which they used to make and that will having the sensors. So, according to which they, that particular sensor will uh, recognize the path which will, will be drawn on the ground and according to that that will follow that particular machine which you have designed. So, this is the use of sensors. So, robotics technology is so fast hmm. that uh, millions are there and even a single defense can make uh, make the whole technology make, make a defense in, in the whole technology so what he tries to mean it's very difficult to understand from that single word because yes. the technology he used so that's what i am saying now you are an engineering graduate and i am a graduate or a phd in english literature but uh, i would say that is this word uh, right made do you made do you make you make a robot okay so agreed and then he says got familiarized 
why to use a double passive back to back verb, why? Because the idea of a CV is it is a black and white representation of you, your first interaction with your probable prospective employer and uh, will you be putting yourself in passive terms by using back to back uh, passive verbs got familiarized. There should be better word for this Mr. Asif Raja and you please search for it in the English dictionary. And then we come to this. Now, this is something wrong because the idea of uh, making the non-specific person with a non-specific background, this is jargon you see, this is a language or a diction which is suitable to a specific group or you know area of people with that academic expertise and domain expertise. The idea is that first you write the full form and then you put the abbreviation in bracket after that every time because hereafter you will be using that bracket uh, that abbreviation for pulse width modulation and the same thing he has also repeated here the same thing. First you should write the expanded form and after that in bracket you should write the abbreviated form in capital autonomous underwater vehicle. Then you come to the name of the institute. So, you see the height of carelessness, this student is going to apply for a job and he has been told by the CDC IIT Kharagpur to write a CV according to the format provided by the CDC and he says this is small k and it is a proper noun and I do not know how you can do this to the mother of the IIT system. No, you should put a capital K. Okay. And then this part of the language, part of, what do you mean part of, can you suggest a better word? Participated, participated in gold winning interhall Rangoli. Now, we all of us know that as far as the tradition of Rangoli and uh, illumination goes in short called ILU, RP or Rajan Prashad Hall of Residence has been uh, more or less uh, leading the way for successive years RP Hall is winning in this. So, now I have a lot of doubts about this because uh, this is for the entire hostel. The entire hostel participates as a unit and it is a teamwork, it is a show of unity in diversity and excessive planning to the minor most discrete level which goes into illumination and Rangoli events of IIT Kharagpur during Diwali. This year it is on 7th December, 7th November. So, uh, first of all the language here has to be improved and uh, I think in a uh, event which is conducted by let us say how many students would be saying in RP hall, any idea? At least 600 no. if not 700 or 1000. So, in an event in which 1000 students, let us say not 1000, let us say 900 students participate and 100 do not because they are not here or they are not feeling well. It happens, no, you do not feel well, <laughs> is not it? It is a traditional statement in IIT Kharagpur. I was not feeling well, so I did not do this. So, the point is these are not to be written and anybody who knows the history of IIT Kharagpur would simply strike it off not to be taken. You write something better here because you are uh, you are uh, one head among thousand heads. Now, if a crowd of thousand people are standing and I am going to throw a stone you know, then it might hit anybody's head, but it does not mean that you will write as if it is going to hit my head. So, I am important because I participated in illumination and Rangoli. Now, a group event in which thousand are participating, you cannot write that in your CV. You should write here of those extracurricular activities in which you have got some, you have got some award, some recognition, some applause. So, let us come to here the applause and the recognition has gone to RP hall. It will be in the common room in the Almira, it will be displayed until the next illumination event, but it has not gone to you. Do you have a paper document to support? Mr. Asif Raz, I am asking you. Do you have a paper document to support that you are part of this gold winning team? And can you tell me which year you won this? So, if you are going to write points which are vague and uneven and uh, fuzzy, 
do not think that the other one is a fool you know, God has given brains to everybody. So, let us be honest, I tell you that at the workplace each and every dishonesty will be caught. It is not that if you are a student of IIT Kharagpur, so you are also great in cheating people. So, we must be upfront. Please write that which is relevant and that which matters to the prospective workplace. Then let us come to NSS. Now, all of us know being students of IIT Kharagpur and uh, being here for quite some time, we know that NSS is an extra, extra academic activity with zero credit and you have to do that in four semesters. So, that after that you can be in a sense given a pass in that, there is simply pass and fail it in, it, in this uh, program. You have to do either NSS or NCC or NSO and NSO is a two types, NSO that is national sports organization, one is sports and NSO is health and fitness. So, you have four to choose from. Now, if that is part of your academic uh, career and NSS national service scheme always implies the spirit of voluntarism. This is not an extracurricular activity, I am sorry Mr. Raza, this cannot be written here at all. It is your extra academic activity and from 16 to 18 that is in two academic years or in four semesters you have completed this well and good. But if you got a special award during this voluntary work as the best volunteer of NSS unit number 9 which goes and works in Gopali then you can please write it here. You cannot write general statements that you have been a volunteer. So, what? Why? Why should you do this? Okay, Let us come to this one and uh, NTSC what is the full form? National talent search exam. Now, this is a question to you is this a very great uh, extracurricular activity? It is part of academics. So, the point here is this last segment has to do with extracurricular activities and the student has written everything which is part of academic requirement of the four year degree program at IIT Kharagpur. So, who do you think uh, you are making fool of? First of all, you are making fool of yourself because you are proving in black and white that you are a fool F O O L. Okay, Let us come to this one. Now, this is a real howler novice. Can you tell me in the dictionary meaning of novice? Beginner. So, uh, I, I mean uh, C V is that uh, resume, it is uh, you in all your positive accomplishments and great pluses of your life, your student life and your work ex. So, if you are going to write this word, you are going to get minus 20. So, then we come to the CV of another candidate and are getting finished, but there is a complete absence of full stop. So, is it okay uh, while we are writing a CV or missing a CV? Yeah. In CV, we are not supposed to use CV full, full stop. stop. Yeah. We are supposed to use only phrases which are posing to be posing to be like sentences. So, a sentence is defined as a group of words arranged to make sense and a sentence is recognized by a period or the full stop at the end. But in a CV, we have the minimum of punctuation marks. It is like you know you are trying to name a file and the computer sends a message this kind of signals, this kind of symbols are not accepted. So, in a CV we have minimum punctuation, we do not use full stop, we use phrases which almost function as sentences because they give you complete meaning of what you are trying to put forward. Now, let us come to Miss Bindu Sancheti and uh, it seems to be ok in the first part. Now, this is uh, if you compare it to this uh, boy Mr. Raja, this uh, girl is having CGPA of 8.99 above on 10. So, she is uh, now pursuing M tech and she will complete her M tech in chemical engineering in 2020. She got admission in 20, this is a student of the chemical engineering 5 year program. So, 2020, let us say 2015, because in 2015 she completed her uh, plus 2 from Rajasthan. Now, let us come to this girl and uh, look at her CV. Now, just look at this way in which she has arranged her, her 
academic year completion in full form 2018 and not apostrophe and 18. And uh, this is the very good way to write it, but the only thing I have to say here is, is about this you are you University of Alberta research experience. So, the question mark is this should we write this is it a fact ok good. So, it is a fact I am not aware. So, I had some questions on these numbers, but uh, certainly I think uh, it must be uh, true. And then she writes top 5 percent, then we come to internships and this is uh, if you have a glance at this uh, CV, then you see that compared to the CV of Mr. Asif Raja, this is very crowded and uh, she has used font type may be 10 or maybe single digit 9 because she wants to stuff in all the information. So, that is why it is looking very crowded, but uh, on the whole if you see this CV is better than the first one which we have shown you. She writes about her summer internship in you see the full month is written May 18 to July 18 full complete spelling of the month. She writes the name of the prof under whom she has done her summer internship at Alberta and there are these bulleted details of what she did. And as far as I have gone through it, it seems to be ok grammatically speaking as well. So, she has done internship for uh, 2 months in 17, 1 month in December 17 and again 2 more months in this year from May to July 2018. And then we come to positions of responsibility and she is, she is uh, it is very nice to see that Ms. Bindu Sancheti is student placement coordinator at the career development center IIT Kharagpur. Now, maybe that is the reason why she is writing a good CV because she is working there. She knows how to place the students and therefore, she is uh, quite good in writing this CV. I have no comments as such on this CV here may be placements and internships, uh, this could be in capital and administration is a noun and we move further. She is also a senior editor at TLS Technology Literary Society at Kharagpur. For one year she was a senior editor. And I think if we are talking about specific events like Shitij or cultural festivals like Spring Fest, then we need to bring it to the focus of the audience, not only because these are not words in English, these are Hindi words, <coughs> but they are names of prime student events and activities. So, you can either italicize these or you can bold it the way Mr. Asif Raja had done. If you see now, if you go back to the uh, CV of Mr. Asif Raja. So, War of Wits 5.0 Battle of Brains and Shritij is highlighted by putting it in all caps. So, Miss Bindu Sancheti has not done this otherwise it is uh, quite good. Here she has done it 14th annual alumni meet for the batches of 67, 1977, 1992 and uh, I will now move to her uh, uh, projects section and you see this is the way in which she has highlighted the name of the faculty under whom she has done the project by putting it italicized. So, there are ways by which you can highlight your CV and uh, give importance to that segment you can italicize you can bold you can underline, but uh, you choose one at a point of time do not use all do not all italicize as well as bold it as well as underline it because too much of highlighting will take the mind out of the reader. Okay, then we come to this section and everything is all right. She has a section here which is certifications which was not there in the CV of uh, Mr. Asif Raja. Yeah, it is here sorry, it is here. So, certifications and uh, everything is okay. And this is a CV in which 
there is not much of red marks and we will in fact try to go to the fine print written in small font at the bottom of the CV. It says please note if any item is marked as the symbol the same is not verified by CDC IIT Kharagpur. So, this is to be noted that when students write this then they need to have every entry in your CV needs to have a documentary support. So, one thing I just noticed here a mighty pen this is an event during spring fest and maybe 2018 this is all right. Now, we will examine the CV of uh, one of you whole volunteer anybody who wants that his or her CV should be put here on the dissection table who Kursa? ok then say yes ma'am ok. So, let us put your CV. Now, uh, you can uh, raise your hand to the uh, camera saying that you are the guinea pig here in paper format. No problem, you speak less, I will make you speak less, others will speak for you ok. So, this is Mr. Kustav Sangupta and he has put a symbol here for the phone and because he is expecting maybe calls from abroad. So, he has given the country code plus 91 and then his mobile number and he has put nice symbols for the mailbox and uh, this is his LinkedIn ID and of course, our logo here. So, if we look at his CV uh, very well written and he writes here pursuing and uh, maybe here if space permit because I have the soft copy, but it is PDF, but certainly it must have been docked before being PDF. So, you could write here your first semester CGPA, you have not got it ok. So, maybe one semester more and you can write the first year CGPA here. So, when you complete first year, it still be pursuing, but you can write here first year and dash and you can write your percentage your CGPA at the end of first year when you might have taken at least 14, 15 courses from HSS uh, Rajiv Gandhi school of IPL and Vijisom and uh, any other department? No, these three departments. So, there has to be a full stop here w dot b dot and similarly full stop here w b u t. Then let us come to his work x and he says it is 45 months. I think uh, why do not you write it in years? Why not write uh, 45 divided by how much is it? Yes. Yeah, please. Uh, they have a column which indicates that you have to put it in months, we have okay. to put our experience in months. Okay. Good. So, it is 45 months, but uh, if you divide by 12, then uh, how many years is it? 3.75. Okay. So, it is 3 uh, and 3.75 years. Anyway, this is just for my knowledge not to be included here. He worked at TCS and was placed at uh, Kolkata and he has given the web address of his uh, company as system engineer, systems engineer from uh, September 14, September 14 to June 2018 and roles and responsibilities there has to be a gap here one space and uh, I am not very conversant with what you are writing here, but uh, what I say is that uh, there is a rule called parallelism that is every first word here has to be in the same format. So, if this is worked this is involved capital I, this is worked all right gathered. So, it is all parallel structures it is called parallel structures verb plus ed. So, it is simple past tense because that is the idea of the CV or the resume it is a report of what you are doing and what you have done till date from the time you became aware that uh, to work 
is our business to get employed at better and better places is the aim and responsibility we take upon ourselves having entered the field of work and education. So, here he can write documented. So, this will change documented. Is it all right with you, Kustav? Yes, so, this will become involved and uh, uh, no need to write actively because involved means that you are active also. Uh, do we write passively involved? We do not write. Take one instance here. Here the, here the illumination program is going on. Yes. And from the ho from the hall um, hall committee, they have made different different <coughs> duty teams yes. for the illumination duty. And yes. in a team there are closely 40 to 60 students are in a team. Mm -hmm. But hardly in on the ground we can see hardly 10 to 15 students. And yes. The rest are somewhere else. That's why, as I said, no, there's a crowd of thousand and you throw a stone. It will fall on anybody's head, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, anybody, you know. And then you write that, no, no I did the work, you know, the, the stone fell on me. I was carrying the entire responsibility of RP Hall illumination and. So, that the passive involved or active involved. But what if someone has done the job actively, then what should he? Many, many, what many, should he write? Many people, they yes, that is a question the we can come to. Uh, so. Yeah, they did your pain and paper and some people are really uh, doing hard on the, on the very field. Yes. So, so, how can you difference it? By seeing them, by yes. seeing the reality. Okay, let us come back to business. So, Mr. Akshay Thorat has asked a, a very important question. The point is that uh, what if Mr. Kustav was uh, really actively involved, then he should write here after a colon or a dash actively engaged with whatever, but uh, the idea of parallel structures in your CV gives the other gives the reader not only a sense of reader friendly reader friendly look or approach, it gives this feeling to the reader that this is a student or the applicant or the candidate who has a good command over the language and knows how to write his CV in a streamlined disciplined style. So, like this is collaborated, so gathered worked and basic knowledge. Now, this uh, could you write it as possessed basic knowledge of our programming is that okay with you, because this is that which is standing out. So, or is it a very uh, important unique thing, it is very good. It is very good thing to have. Yes. So, uh, you can precede it to make the CV have verbs and active verbs. So, you can write it as possessed or I do not know possessed is not looking very good. You have to search for some other word. Look at uh, applied. No, yeah, look at uh, thesaurus that is a reverse dictionary and you will get you look at the words in the thesaurus which uh, could fit in for possessed, but there has to be a one word here which is in the same form as worked, involved, uh, gathered, documented, collaborated so on and so forth. If we come now to the projects section of uh, Mr. Kostav Sengupta's CV at the end of first semester not yet finished, we are in November in December the course will end. So, why have uh, you put this big gap, this could have been raised up and you could get some more writing space. I do not know the technicality involved, but if this could have been shifted up, you could have got to one more space to one more line to fit in some information. And uh, because we are talking about not using full stops, maybe you continue with the bulleted form. So, do not write this was just write a winter project and do not write then. So, you delete the full stop here and do not write here my role, uh, just say put a bullet and role included. It no, it is understood that it is your role because it is your CV, role included. So, you write so on and so forth and then you come to here do not write I because uh, you are presenting yourself in third person. Now, you are reduced to a piece of paper black and white. 
So, there is no meaning of I and you, is not it? I and you exist in face to face world of reality. So, let us say that we put a bullet here also learned A capital so on and so forth and we can put it in three bullets here 1, 2, 3. Then we come to this uh, second of his uh, projects and he has described it also and the same thing um, bullet project title then bullet no full stop role included R capital and uh, bullet also had a formal training on various models of C language. So, there are three bullets in this segment. If this could go up slightly like this, then this could be included. Now, we come to positions of responsibility and uh, he writes here current. So, or other possibilities would be as on date or you can write ongoing. So, you will continue on this uh, in this capacity as member of alum committee. MHRM 2018 20, 20 batch, you can write batch if you wish. This is just a suggestion. You will continue in this position for 2 years. Yes. Okay. So, he has written, but what about this? Why have you not mentioned the period here? You have written 20, 20, 18, 20, 20 here, but <coughs> is this going to be for 2 years? The same 2 years? Then you can write it here. I am asking you. Why is a happy smiling? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> oh, you are not able to speak, you know, there is a frog in your throat, no? Okay. So, we come to member of uh, Toastmasters. Yes, it is in, uh, it's in VG Som. Now, it is in VG Som in the IDP campus, but even when someone um, goes out of the campus and some, someone is in his service life, before uh, getting passed from here. So, then so he can continue his membership and he can participate yes. in the, all the meetings. Yes, yes. So, lifelong you know this uh, CV is a living document like the Indian constitution you know so many amendments and so many changes in the Indian constitution. So, the CV is also a living document. Now, Mr. Kostasan Gupta is presently in 2018 I do not know how many years old. Have you provided a date of birth somewhere? No, anyway, so anyway, it is not uh, good to ask uh, people these personal questions. Anyway, the point is that uh, I am talking about 2018 and uh, 10 years from now, say 2038 and uh, 202028, no, yes, 2028. 20, uh, now, Mr. Kautav will uh, continue to be a member of Toastmasters International Club. So, despite the fact that he will be an acknowledged speaker, he will be called to all the meetings of uh, Confederation of Indian Industry, so on and so forth. This is a prayer for you. This is a blessing for you from the English teacher. Okay, then we come to member. Now, if you see so many offs, you can replace them by simply comma, isn't it? And so you can write like this. Led a team of five students for student exchange program at AIT Bangkok, 2013. Maybe you could provide the month if you can. If you have a certificate to this effect. Just provide the month or roughly the dates, may, maybe 11th to 13th July or whatever it is. Then we come to awards and achievements, and uh, now uh, because it is awards and achievements, you do not have to write awarded, it is about awards and achievements. So, it is bound to be awarded to you. So, just write certificate and C capital certificate. You have already got it awarded because the segment is on your achievements. So, do not write achieved this or awarded that. The, seg section, the segment or the section of your CV is related to that. Delete full stop because this is not a full uh, sentence. So, all the full stops needless are to be removed because they are redundant. They are just catching the eye. They are like pin pricks in the eye. So, my department, the CV is a place where you have to be a little bit objective and impersonal. So, rank third in not my. <coughs> In fact, nothing is mine in the planet. Participate <laughs> rank second in my department. So now it is no longer my department because now you belong to my department. You belong to Department of Humanities and Social Sciences. So that time, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering in which college? Where? JS. So JS College of Engineering. I've been to their. Uh, Shovanagar or 
So, anyway, the JIS in JIS, you were in Department of Electronics and Commercial Engineering during uh, the tenure uh, 14 to 18. Then that time it was mine. Now you are mine, Department of Humanities. So, you keep on changing, you know, until you die when all the mine become his. <laughs> so, it is uh, do not write my because this will keep on changing and fifth role among eight in departments. Uh, now, department is a proper noun, so always has to be capital, no full stop because we are, you are not writing I was ranked third, you are writing ranked to follow the parallelism, parallel, parallel structure. So, again you write selected, not I was and uh, read the full stop, secured, participated, uh, vice captain of school, students, council. So, this is a proper uh, you know uh, organization or a small unit in your school. So, you can put it in caps and I think uh, that would be all. Are you happy with the corrections I made? Yes. The point of the CV, the, academy, the first line of the academy that uh, fifth, uh, fifth somehow is the uh, after the fifth obvious or something is there. I think there should be space. First line of the academic section. Yes. Okay, first line of the academic. Yeah, rank yes. second in. Okay, rank second in department of ECE. No, no, and no. fifth uh, overall. So there should be a space here. Very good. No. Now I'm a poor old lady. I can't see. My eyes are <laughs> almost failing me. <laughs> are you talking about this space? Uh, please, please. <laughs> As I said, I'm an uh, old lady with uh, one of the legs dangling in the grave. So I can can't see. I already have a lot of problems, either there is problem of too much light like here in the studio or too less light as in our psycho lab. Okay. So, with this uh, we come to the end of the class and uh, I hope you have liked this. We will have uh, maybe one more session of this if time permits towards the end of the course. Thank you so much for being with me and uh, thank you for your contrib contribution to NPTEL and may God bless you. We shall meet soon.